Well, hello, this is the final boss, and this is Thousand and One Nights. And, uh, this is a game that uses a uh, LLM. So, first time playing this game, the gameplay didn't even blow us from color, it's fine. Alright, but this is, like that thing said, a game using. AI models, and as a writer, I'm always very curious to see what kind of new stuff is coming into storytelling. Um, I'm very curious to try this out. I always, I, I whenever I see an AI-ish game uh, on, you know, Keymailer or whatever those things are, I always take a look at it. I think this was on Lurk It. Lurk It. Right? Yes. And so, yeah, let's go on ahead. Strange, is it not? That of the myriads. Ooh, missing capitalization there. This might be the scripted bit, because an AI would not make that mistake. That of the myriads who before us passed the door of darkness through. Strange is not. That of the myriads who before us passed the door of darkness through. No one returns to tell us of the road which to discover we must travel to. I guess maybe that's just a straight up. Story begins on that day a decade ago. Shahrazad. I used to uh, just listen to Scheherazade because it was on LibriVox, and it's like hours and hours and hours, and it was free. <laughs> and back before like Audible was a thing, I would listen to Scheherazade just as I went on runs and stuff. Sister, Sister Scheherazade! What's happened, Dunya Sad? Do you remember the book we read about Mahasati, the great heroine? Yes, yeah, sure. Then? Come play a game with me! I am the great adventurer Mahasati! I am the bravest, most powerful hero in the kingdom! This is my magical moonlit sword, unbeatable by anyone! Look at my sword skills! Oh, it's just a tree stick, you little silly! It is not! It's my most precious treasure! Then tell me, where did you find the moonlit sword? It was a cold as at night. The stars were asleep. Only the moon was watching the sky. Alibaba and I, the clever one, found it under the moonlit sand dune while looking for the treasure. Seeing the word moonlit repeat a lot is a little bumpy, and, and so this is maybe, I mean, maybe this is a setup you really want to use. Um, but even in, like, my prose novel writing, where it's all scripted, right, you, you want to watch out for when words come in too quick succession, especially, like, unique words or the same word, because it'll bump the reader out of the reading so what's special about this moonlit sword? It's made of moonlight and will glow in the dark. And it's always icy cold, just like the desert wind at night. She always has such imagination. I could tell her, I should tell her the story about the moonlit sword. Actually, this moonlight sword, I know it's moonlight sword. I'm just going to say moonlit because it's in my brain now. Really, sis, let me know. So here's the secret of the sword. Continue to write the story about the moonlit sword. For example, the sword is made of ice. It whispers to its owner, try to be creative. Okay. So this is kind of like a elegy of to a dead world a writing exercise game. Because it looks like I'm... It, it's kind of trying to help me participate in the writing experience. That's cool. I like that. I'm a writer. Let's try. The moonlit sword opened the doorway. How did you think about it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? It went so fast. A secret doorway? Wow! Alibaba and I stepped into the shadow. Into the shadow, and we found a hidden world of shimmering sand and whispering winds. Tell me more about this, sis.
All right. Within the shadow of the... Okay. So, how do you feel about it? Interesting. A monster? It's scary. I held up my moonlit sword. It's glowing. Only Baba and I decided it's glow soothing the monster. My moonlight sword. And I decided to help it. Okay, I'm pressing enter. What? Whoa! Click! Okay. It's a sword. Whoa! I got a sword! I'm in a world. I hope I can actually have. I hope it actually has combat. That'd be kind of sick. What is this? Is this what you're looking at? Can't see the sword? What are you talking about? My moonlit sword is right here. Look! She really can't see it. It's just my hallucination, right? Then watch it. Hey! Ah, oh, my sword is broken. Ah, oh, what happened? Was it really a sword, not my illusion? I really didn't do it. So, a lot of, I mean, I imagine this is scripted, but a lot of this language feels a little stilted. Like, I would, I would definitely, feels like it was localized. So, if possible, I would definitely encourage trying to see if there was a way to, um, to adjust. Also, the pixel filter, I, I kind of like it, but it's a little heavy. Like, I know... Essentially, there's probably some very simple graphic assets, and you're putting it through a pixel filter, because I can see the way the pixels shift. There's probably an asset beneath this. And so I would just try to... I don't know, make it a little bit less flickery, perhaps? Sis, you bully. I'm sorry, I'm truly sorry. Ah! It's real, but it can only be used once? Since I'm really staying in the desert at night. I can't I feel cold too like like as if the world and the story has become real ah! Sasan Sasanian kingdom remains under the tyrannical rule of King Shashiar. After his wife's betrayal, the king fell into suspicion and distrust. He cruelly intensified as he grew to hate all women, suspecting them of some unfaithfulness of his former wife. His rage filled the kingdom with oppressive unrest and conflicts. This began his brutal ritual. Every evening he'd take a maiden as his bride, only to execute her at dawn before she could possibly betray him. The entire kingdom was cast in a shadow of fear and sorrow. You as Jeherazad have entered the palace, poised to be his next bride. Yet, what a king doesn't know is that you possess a secret power. The magic to turn tales into a tangible reality. What kind of story will you spin? Can you use the magical power to save yourself and protect more innocent women. Now begin. Use your stories to forge a path to survival. What weapons will you create to end his reign of wickedness? Ah, so I have to create... Yeah, so this does... This is like the... It looks like voxel. And then it has the pixel filter on top. Yeah. So you're the new girl, huh? Well, what's your name? Never mind. I might forget it by tomorrow. Jeez. Let us revel in tonight's luminous moonlight. Would you permit me? May I tell you a story? Oh, a story? That's quite intriguing. I'm not gonna let you do. Um, <laughs> I'm not just gonna let you do all the talking. Are those weapons familiar to him? I might sneak a peek, but he might get angry. King's weapon. Show all weapons. Is that a sword? Focus on your story. Okay. I like this as a little story prompt with some help. I think this is a clever a clever take on it. I've I think this is one of the more interesting approaches to an AI narrative game that I've seen so far in I wonder if you could make this into like a Twitch. So one thing I did on my writing stream on Twitch 
was I would let interesting would proceed with caution in this golden city a tyrant ruled his greed unmatched demanding tribute from all injured blood was his currency Another statue in the city. Oh, one day a cunning thief into the center. The Mern's eye with the child and he had a plan to steal the ruler's greatest treasure. Oh man, he really doesn't want me to look at his. So, yeah. So I want to make a... So I'm trying to make a weapon is my goal, I guess. We found a hidden chamber glittering with gold and filled with enchantments. Oh, I need him to say it. Uh. So I think that's interesting, like gamifying, I'm trying to convince the AI to say a word, a keyword I want it to say. Statue murmured strange words.
King's eyes blaze with fury. He declared, You think you can outsmart me, thief? Now face the wrath of my curse. Interesting. You got some text. Text Mesh Pro. You think I came here? There we go. Thief's dagger, so I got him to mention a weapon. <laughs> Interesting. I kind of... Curse bound dagger. Ooh, cool. And it has some, like, pixelized AI art. Okay, power story. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a card. Oh, okay, power nine. A jewel dagger imbued with powerful magic that can deflect curses back to their caster, turning a dark magic against this wielder. Power nine. So let's see who best tuned the thief's dagger like the things of the king scream to begin to turn to gold. Story world's getting close to the jewel. Okay. Thief took. The. All right. Interesting. So you're like, I like this as a game against the AI in some respects. Their eyes gleamed with malevolence. I actually am really impressed. I was coming in very skeptical to this game, but the fact that it's not just using the AI to tell the story, but it's using the AI, the AI's propensity to do things... And to restate things to be the mechanic. I think that is flippin' smart, and I'm very impressed. Tip of the hat. I think, obviously, there's some tweaking and some... Even just with the pre-scripted parts, some ways to, to clean and edit, but... Um, their eyes gleamed with malevolence. Thief is powerful. Thief was powerful. Thank you. 
Okay, we got a spear created. So I think I have to get four weapons before I run out of life. It's kind of... I don't know when I'm losing. I've seen, like, life going down. Nullifying golden spear. Foretold by the power nine. I wonder if I could get higher power stuff. The spear is imbued with magic doesn't nullify even the most powerful intestines. Okay, and that's the bit of the story. Okay, so as I, like, continue, yeah. Sorcerer designing power to greed eagerly. The raiders didn't realize that the two desired the golden city. Built a weakness. To the spear is <laughs> cunning moves, intriguing the sorcerer handed him the spear, but secretly followed him to the golden city. As the traders prepare to attack the thief, the sorcerer away from his moment to strike. So if I click on this again, does it just create another spear? Okay. And then do I have to like, hopefully they have enough power to... Enchanted Nullifier Spear. So that's the same thing. So this is only power seven. Um, uh, that was So I'm a little I'm su I'm surprised that it didn't notice the staff was a weapon. I guess it needs like a Let me see. Interesting. I like that you're looking for like keywords and sword. Time to get murdered, friend.
solar radiance by the missing sword and emanate sunlight's pure rays capable of counteracting dark swords and making chance with the evil. Spotted the sword. Oh, snap. The art's pretty fun. That's awesome. Oh, and I'm battling. Select action from left to right. From right. Punch of Sahara's out is only a six. Okay, so I want to use my. Whoa. Long silent bells toll anew. News of the king's death flies through the streets and alleys. Flowers bud in the burn sore in unison. The realm of peace and joy. A figure quietly fades away. No one knows her name, nor have they seen her face clearly. But her story is remembered, performed on stage each generation. Empires fall in war, civilization cycle and change, and to this day her legend still circulates across the land. Game is still final boss. Alright. Oh, that's my name, whoops. <laughs> Competing with an AI is brilliant. Final boss editing at Gmail. If you want one of your games reviewed, feel free to send me an email. Yeah, I mean, I think in some respects, I kind of know that it could be really easy. Like, you could probably... I mean, like, there's not much challenge, I think. I mean, I can try. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see if it can... Um... Uh, let me just see if, like, there once was a laser lord named Star-Lord, and he lacked guns. Okay, so if I do something really silly, um, a lad in... Once upon a time, there was a ninja named Bill. His friends wanted to slay him. Oh, you'd be dragged down and chopped up! This ninja knew the path of 10,000 daggers, and it was no easy feat to catch him unawares with all the
Oh, wait. A little bit more depth. I don't know if it just gets mad. Ah, Intrigue in the City. I don't know if it's linked. So we'll see if it's just length. <laughs> Let's tell the story well. Hmm. All right, we got it. Interesting. I mean, it's. I, I think I like that there are some guardrails against just being silly and ridiculous. Um, I'm kind of curious to see. You know, I'm. I'm obviously like. You know, as a game developer, I'm like, ooh, what's under the hood? How? How is this all working? But uh. Ooh, it's only a power six. I see, and you get stronger weapons. The king will continue your stories if his continuation includes weapons like a sword. You can then click on the word to materialize it. You can click to sneak a peek at the weapon rack behind him for hints, but this will make him angry. Don't let his patience run out. It's okay to peek boldly. It's, it's okay not to peek boldly. Tell your story. I want to see what happens if I get killed. Sarazad lose her life in the morning. Lost, L-O-S-T, her life in the morning, but the story could be changed. Okay. Interesting. I think there's uh, there's a lot of cool stuff here. I would encourage you to keep keep on this. I would add a little bit more depth to the mechanics. I think the idea of trying to trick an AI into saying things is really smart. Um, I think that's really smart. And I think that's a fun mechanic. And I think the weapons is a good is a good piece. But, you know, maybe as the developer, think about some other, like, build your story. Like, maybe the first night she builds weapons. The next night she needs whatever. Or, you know, now that she's ruling the kingdom, she needs to get you know, another another king from an opposite kingdom to think about caravans for trade or something. It's a silly example, but I would wonder how you can keep going with this. I think there's a lot of opportunity here. So well done. Hope this video is helpful and have a great one. Take care.